everyone and welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial. Uh, today's chapter will be very interesting as it's about application on time that can be used to achieve various factors within VBA. One of the major purposes for application on time being used is to set up timers. So in our today's chapter I will demonstrate how can application on time be used to achieve a timer. So you may want to jump down to the developers tab and um, click on insert. Firstly we will add two buttons. Let's name one of these buttons as start while the other one we can name it as um, you can just copy paste the button and um, we can name it as um, stop. Now um, we will use a range um, that I've already merged cells. Let me just give it a border to make it more visible. Let's start off this range with a timer of um, 0, 0, 0. Now you may want to jump down to the developers tab and visual basic. Now to achieve our purpose of a timer you may have to make three procedures. So to start off with let's say um, on time setup. Let's make the second one start on time and let's make the final one to stop the procedure and call it end on time. Now in the on time setup we will use application dot on time now plus time value which will be a second comma and then you will name the procedure that you would like to run. So what the statement means is that right after one second from now call the procedure start on time which is right here. Now in this procedure we will increase the value of the timer which is range d4 dot value equal to range d4 dot value plus time serial which um, will be 0, 0, 1 which means this is hours, this is second, this is um, minutes and this is seconds so we're adding a second to it every time the procedure runs and at the end of the procedure let's say on time setup what this would do is um, this would again call this procedure which would help us call this procedure once again after a minute. Now let's fill in the application um, the end time procedure. Now let's say application on time now plus time value 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0000001 now you may want to name the procedure you'd like to end um, then you may want to set the schedule to false. So uh, what this would do is the moment you run this procedure the application on time procedure will end because we are resetting it to false. Now to assign a function a procedure to a button you may want to right click on that button click on assign macro. To start off with you may want to assign on time setup to start and to stop you may want to assign um, end on time. Now when we click on start as you can see the timer keep will consistently keep on increasing the seconds and this is how we can achieve a timer using application on time. It's an extremely useful function and must recommend it for every programmer in Excel VBA. Now similarly if I were to click on stop what this would do is this would end um, this would reschedule it to false which means it will stop the application on time timer. Now just to give you a quick run through this is where our procedure starts. Um, after a second it calls this procedure. In this procedure the first statement keeps adding a second onto this range after which it again keeps on calling this procedure and then this keeps on repeating until we click on stop. The moment we click on stop we call the end on time procedure which sets the start on time procedure which is running through an application on time to false which means it will stop running. So thanks for watching guys hope application on time um, the explanation was simple and straightforward and hope to see you soon. Please stay tuned for more videos. Take care. Bye bye.